English. So uh, I'm really glad that I can uh, introduce uh, Professor uh, Julius Fuyak from uh, University or Konstantin, the Philosopher University in Nitra. And I'm really glad that Professor uh, was able to organize also our lecture in online uh, mood. And I, I'm really glad that we, we, uh, we were able to organize this. And I will uh, talk, uh, tell us couple of information, basic information about the professor, mostly from scientific point of view, because professor will also have an online uh, concert of acousmatic music, but also here will organize, so it will be also a hybrid concert. And I will tell also before the concert a couple of information about, uh, about uh, his music work and all of the projects which he made and it is like really numerous number so uh welcome everybody and i will tell us a couple of a uh, few information about the professor julius fuyak actually uh, or nowadays he is a professor at the institute of culture tourism management cultural studies and ethnology Facu uh, and ethnology faculty of arts constantin the philosopher university in nitra but this is like a section of for the cultural studies. Uh, he was first scientific and research member. First, he was scientific and research member uh, at the Institute of Literature and Art Communication, Faculty of Arts, Constantine the Philosopher, University in Nitra. And from uh, 2007, he's working at the par uh, at the Department of the uh, Cultural Studies where he reached the title of professor. Now this is the new department because they uh, um, put together three departments together. So it's a section of the culturology. But his main point of the science is not cultural studies only, but mostly dedicated his also subject uh, of the, on the department and organized the department of the semiotic of the culture, postmodern in social li life or by society or by the art, chapters from the Slovak music, music work, and his interpretation, and also Slovak popular music, experimental music, and so on. And of course, his activities, once again, semiotic of music, aesthetic, also cultural studies of independent culture, and postmodern art. He organized or co-organized cycles of the lectures, inter interdisciplinary dialogues, and also he's the in Theater and co-organizer of the cycles of the uh, department literature uh, um, department of the lecture, sorry, culturologos. So this is like a really plenty of the uh, uh, activities what a professor did or doing right now. And a professor held held a lot of international lectures and particip participate it in the many international congress abroad and in Slovakia, for example, uh, at the Institute of Arts in California, at the World Congress in Finland, Rome, Krakow, Lyon, uh, Graz, Leipzig, Prague, Brno, and also in Slovakia. Uh, as he is uh, also famous in Nitra, but also in the surrounding of the Nitra and also in the whole Slovakia as a also compositor and also musician because he has also a lot of concerts through the Europe and also in Slovakia and USA. He also cooperate not only with the Slovak musicians, groups and also artists, but also abroad. But as I said already, he I will tell more about the music work uh, from Professor later. And the last, last maybe information about the uh, uh, scientific work and studies and a lot of these scientific uh, articles. There is numerous uh, scientific studies, but I will mention only monographies. Uh, for example, such as Slovak Music Alternative, printed in 2006, Music, uh, music Correlativities, 2008, Various Comprovisation, Text on Music and Semiotic, 2015, uh, Emancipation of the Music sem Semiosphere 2018, Probe into the Independent Music Culture in Slovakia 2021, and the really last uh, information for his scientific work, Professor get, got numerous prizes from the Dean of Faculty of Arts of Konstantin the Philosopher University in Nitra, and also uh, from the re Rector. For example, in 2005, uh, 
for his from the dean dean prize for his representing the faculty abroad and thank also you uh, so samuel and samuel uh, oh, maybe maybe yes. etc etc thanks a lot etc that was really my uh, my last information and uh, just want to tell you that uh, this lecture and also concert, concert is held on the occasion of the 30th anniversary of the existence of the Slovak Republic. And I'm really glad that we have a professor from Nitra online. And Professor Stage is yours. Thank you very much. And we will be glad to hear your presentation. And then there will be a debate and discussion about it. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, uh, Samuel, Dr. Koruniak, for introducing me. Thank you for having me in this uh, uh, online forum, at least. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I appreciate uh, the occasion to say something or to present the Slovak alternative uh, musical culture, including my works in the frame of the 13th anniversary of the Slovak uh, Republic. By the way, uh, before I will start the lecture, I, will, I would like to mention that I'm one of uh, the representatives of so Nitra Semiotic School, which is an uh, international renowned uh, uh, school in semiotics, uh, which such a great representative uh, in the in the past, like Anton, uh, Professor Anton Popovic or Professor uh, um, Franciszek Miko, who was uh, my PhD, uh, PhD uh, supervisor, and uh, it was really something important in the journey of my <coughs> understanding the problems of aesthetics, culture, music, etc. So, thank you very much, thank you very much. And now I can try to share my, uh, some, my screen. If it uh, works, uh, I hope it will. So, uh, if I will uh, put it this way, we can see uh, our uh, on the right side. And can you see my screen by now? Yes, we can see it. Okay, so uh, now I would like to uh, switch off on the presentation of my lecture. Uh, the title is Slovak Independent Culture uh, with Selected Original uh, Alternatives Before and After 1989. If I uh, understood uh, well, uh, I've got around uh, 60 minutes, so I cannot uh, talk about every, everything. That's the reason why I, uh, in the subtitle, I mentioned this uh, Selected uh, Original Alternatives in, uh, in Slovak Independent Culture. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, the, the, some of uh, I devote my research, beside other topics, uh, to, uh, to also to the to this uh, problem of alternative independence. And there are the two main uh, monographs and books uh, published uh, in 2006: Slovenske hudobne alternatívy, Slovak musical alternatives. I uh, I like to use this plural version, not just alternative. And another one two years ago, uh, the probing uh, of independent musical culture in Slovakia, Sondaž nezávislej hudobnej kultúry na Slovensku. Uh, this first publication was written uh, in cooperation with two persons, Martin Kalinka and Oliver Rehak. Uh, what is important for me, as you as you can as you as you maybe mention. Uh, there are two uh, adjectives, independent and also uh, the subject of alternatives. Hi, how we can understand these two uh, notions? So let's go in, in, uh, in medias res to this problem. Uh, how to understand the independency, uh, which is, uh, in my opinion, uh, not only in my opinion, uh, deeply connected with the modus of inner freedom. Michel Foucault, French uh, great philosopher and in my eyes one of the great uh, representatives of uh, culture studies uh, in history of 20th century, uh, he uh, claims that the category of subject is a variable, is not, uh, is not uh, something essential, mysteriously permanent, stable, stable or universal, but the subject is a function of the discourse and is the result, is the result of different changing discursive practices. And what kind of practices he uh, meant? Discursive practices of division and exclusions, discursive practices of scientific classifications, it means permanent control, institutional expertise, and third, discursive practice of subjectification in religion, in the psychoanalysis and sexual therapy. Uh, you can find these uh, thoughts in his uh, well-known book, uh, Discipline and Punish the Bird of the Prison from 1975. But, okay, uh, that's something what uh, we can find uh, also in the social system before uh, in 1989 in Czechoslovakia and after uh, the break of the so-called Velvet Revolution. 
uh, this part of the this uh, distinguish and the dif big differences between these two uh, social systems, we can find all these discursive practices. Uh, uh, before and after 1989, uh, despite uh, they are uh, different, but they also have some kind of um, uh, aspects of uh, manipulation, restrictions, etc. What we can uh, clearly understand from the period of uh, Corona crisis uh, since 2022, 2022 uh, or 23. How we can uh, escape or not escape? How we can uh, become? Uh, uh, in uh, freely uh, to uh, to have this uh, to live in this discursive practices. One of the way uh, Foucault offers is this uh, is called parhesia. Parhesia is uh, is a uh, Greek ancient notion which express open speech. When you speak something, what is truth? And despite you can risk something, and despite you can lose many things, even your uh, statue, existential statue, even the life, uh, you are become uh, inside of your person uh, who, something, somebody who become more free and uh, uh, who who deals with uh, other problems uh, of uh, not to be just uh, a victim, not to be uh, to be some somebody who must uh, be uh, be able to. Uh, not able to live in free. So this is a, a way of possible emancipation and uh, inner free formation. Uh, and it has uh, so much to do with the question of dignity. Everybody who is able and who decide to speak uh, open, in open way, uh, to say uh, the truth, which is naked, is not a very beauty person, the, the truth as, 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 uh, as herself, the parhesia is the key. Another uh, uh, in principle, uh, how to understand the uh, notion of alternative, because if we are forced with all these uh, discursive practices in our lives, we, uh, uh, we, can, decide, we can decide to uh, found, uh, of, uh, finding uh, other alternatives in many levels of our culture or even in our private, uh, private uh, lives. Czech philosopher Miroslav Petříček uh, described the alternativity, uh, alternativity as, a, as, as, a, as a way of questioning of certain ideological uh, conventional models linked to the cultural and uh, to the art establishment. But alternative, according to him, can be understood not just in the opposition to the, some conventional normative context, as is usual, but especially by problematizing uh, the convention which presents itself as a universal valid. Convention as an official culture, convention as an official ideology, somebody who, uh, or some, uh, some, uh, some systems who interprets uh, itself uh, uh, as a universal right, universal valid. However, it is not capable to justify it relevantly, the imperative of the university at all. And that's the meaning, the significance of alternative uh, anywhere uh, you can uh, look in the culture, the, the musical uh, culture including. Uh, you can find these thoughts in his uh, text, uh, the Minimal Maximalism, Minimal Maximalismus, Big Not Frank Zappa from uh, of Frank Zappa 2016. So uh, we can go uh, mo in more concrete uh, because I don't like to speak about music without uh, hearing the music and listening to the music. Uh, one of the very in, uh, important uh, alternatives in the uh, time of socialism, in before 1981, was progressive art rock alternative and, and since the break of 16th and 19th and 20th century. And I just uh, choose uh, as a very alterna original uh, alternative uh, Marian Vargas uh, uh, Ensemble Collegium Musicum and Dejo Ursini and his works, especially with uh, poet uh, Ivan Štrpka. So this uh, uh, album, uh, Convergencia, the Convergence is from 1971, is one of the breakthrough of postmodern pluralism, but it was something like uh, a kind of white album in the Czechoslovakia, or the white album of, of the Beatles, but uh, in the very original way. Let's uh, listen just a sample of, uh, uh, of this record.
Well, this uh, double album is very interesting because each side uh, of the uh, of this album uh, offers uh, different kind of music. That's the reason why I mentioned Vladimir Godar's idea that uh, the, the public in uh, in the uh, former Czechoslovakia, uh, accept this album as uh, the first time as a postmodern plural uh, principles. Uh, you can find their po uh, progressive art uh, improv improvisations. You can find their cantata, uh, Christmas cantata, uh, the beautiful sides of uh, songs. And on the very end, there's an electroacoustic experimental composition, Euphony. Another very important person in the progressive art rock alternative in Slovakia was Dejo Ursini who was even sooner uh, devoted his uh, career to the to the big beat uh, of his uh, group uh, Beatman and Soulman in the middle of the 60s even, very progressive. Uh, uh, and he developed uh, this uh, alternative mostly in English language. But since uh, he... Uh, he started to work with Dušan Mitana and Ivan Štrpka. He uh, switched on uh, the Slovak language and uh, created wonderful albums. And Pars Pro Toto is uh, very important. Uh, Modri Vrh, the Blue Hill, from 1981. And uh, this is another, another uh, so example we can listen, uh, where is, uh, you can uh, hear even the short of of uh, field recordings and his composition. V úzkých uličkách, v uličkách bez konca, po stěně lez je mrak. In my eye, is, uh, this uh, uh, album, not only this, but also uh, the before and after uh, this Blue Hill, Modri Vrch, a very interesting combination of uh, rock progressive music, also classical one, very special fusion. If somebody knows uh, uh, the group Mahavishnu Orchestra of John McLaughlin, he has also the period... Uh, uh, the, some uh, works uh, with the, the symphonic orchestra. So this is one of the most important issue or more important albums in, in this, uh, let's say, progressive alt alternative. What I would like to mention as another, uh, another uh, alternative in Slovak musical culture before uh, 1989 is the uh, person in so-called conceptual intermedia alternative, Milan Adamciak. Uh, he, he was intermedia artist, sui generis. Uh, he devoted his uh, works and, um, uh, to experimental poetry, to experimental music, uh, the, to fine arts. He was also a um, uh, well-educated uh, musicologist, uh, uh, cello player, etc. And uh, even in the late 60s, he created a wonderful series of uh, graphic scores and notations, even from dancers, not only from musicians. This is an example. Diamond Dance from 1967 is a, a big uh, graphic score, as you can see, kind of uh, diamond. Diamond's uh, graphic score for uh, dance dancers, experimental dancers, experimental musicians. Petra Fornajova in 2009, he created uh, the live version in the center uh, A4 in Bratislava, as you can see in the form of the big carpet. The graphic notation here is uh, on the floor as a big carpet. And the dancers uh, use this, uh, this score to create this work. Another example, another examples of his uh, graphics and uh, three-dimensional scores for different events, action happenings. Uh, these, this, uh, the, on, on this side, I use uh, this uh, graphic score of uh, empty uh, boxes of uh, the matches fulfilled in the fragments of notes and 
pictures uh, as a cover of my book uh, with the permission of uh, his son Eric Adamczyk. So uh, he, the, he invented very important uh, experimental conceptual kind of musical paradigma in Slovakia, which is very original. And I had the good luck to cooperate with him, especially since, since the beginning of 21st century. And uh, it's not accidental that I mentioned him besides Varga, because my musical story uh, uh, in the as a, as a musician and composer and artist uh, is between uh, Mantinos of Adam Czech and Varga. I, will, I can tell you about this later in this evening. Very important uh, uh, alternative in the uh, conceptual intermedia uh, alternatives uh, uh, represents the group around the philosopher Marcel Strico. Uh, this is the image uh, of him in the center. In the eastern uh, Eastern uh, town Košice. Uh, it was uh, since the beginning, uh, on the break in the break of 70s and 80s, and it was kind of community which would, uh, which was focused not only to the experimental uh, sonic events or music, but also to the philosophy, to the religion, religion lectures. Marcel Strico was the kind of guru, kind of. Uh, Really, some I don't want to say, say the Zen master, but the central figure who organized these meetings of uh, the young hippie uh, guys and girls uh, in uh, in his house, and it was kind of uh, uh, he was uh, suspicious. Uh, he was looked uh, with suspicious with the uh, state uh, secret policy. He uh, went to, to almost three thousand. Uh, uh, investigation to the policy during his life in the eighties. And, but this uh, group was very Im important and mostly uh, f forgotten for a long time. Uh, but uh, with this uh, approach to, to not to be kind of group with concert, uh, they produce the uh, uh, activities in kind of a, a half uh, of semi-illegality. And uh, there exist many, many uh, sonic uh, records on the tape recorder, uh, which are not uh, only kind of uh, concert, but kind of sonic, uh, happening special unique moments uh, re recorded on these tapes. So uh, another uh, another example. What is important for us uh, in the context in uh, another alternative in Slovak independent musical culture, uh, where a rock new wave alternative, especially in the uh, 90s and 80s. Here are uh, some groups from that period as a very first. Machkovia of Slovak composer uh, Martin Burlas, or uh, very young uh, guys from a group uh, Bezladu a Skladu, Karpatske Hrbaty, I can mention another groups like Lachka Muza uh, or uh, Ali Iban Rashid from Prešov, uh, including uh, my group uh, Teoria Otrasu from Kisuce. But I can play you example. This is, uh, uh, this is uh, the very... Uh, well-known songs in that period called Udavaj, let's say uh, whistleblower, yes, but it has uh, it's uh, it's not uh, whistleblower in uh, the meaning of of the 21st century whistleblower in the time of secret policy, uh, as you can remember this uh, period in uh, uh, Eastern Germany, Stasi. We have STB, state uh, policy, which was secret policy. And the young boy in the classroom just uh, saying, if they, when they ask him in the classroom, in gymnasium, uh, what would you like to be when you will be adult? adult? And he said, I want to be this whistleblower. I want to be a whistleblower. All the time, in, in, the, in the end of the song, he said, I want to be the whistleblower, but I want to get the rhythm as the whistleblower in everything. So this is an example, and you can see, you can see it also as a video, uh, a very uh, archaic socialist video made uh, in the of, of 80s. Look 
Etc. Etc. What is interesting that uh, this the person, the the group is from Trenčín, which is a big uh, city in 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 the middle part of Slovakia. And now the uh, member of the groups, uh, the guitarist in the main architect of Trenčín, uh, the, the drummer is the major of the Trenčín, the bass guitarist is the uh, head of uh, gynecology in hospital, and uh, Michal Kaščák is the uh, boss of the biggest, uh, great uh, open air festival Pohoda in Trenčín. Uh, just on the to, to describe the situation, it was not easy to play this kind of music, especially in uh, in eighties in Slovakia, because compared to the, the big star of progressive art music uh, Varga and Ursini, uh, these uh, young groups were just uh, on the on the very edge, uh, like like uh, outsiders. Uh, even this first project, uh, Machkovia, was just a studio project with maybe 10 concerts in the whole history. But in the second half of the 80s, when was uh, the period of Gorbachev's Perestroika in Slovak languages, uh, uh, language, uh, in Slovak language uh, Prestauba, so appears more and more this kind of group. And one of them was the group I play with, uh, Teoria Odrazu. And Teoria Odrazu is theory of reflection. Theory of reflection, what means uh, it was official theory of art from uh, developed from uh, Vladimir Ilyich Lenin theory, theory of, theory of reflection. And uh, what can happen uh, during the concert you can see uh, here on, uh, on this video. At the very beginning on the stage appear the former uh, chief or former boss of policy in the, in the region who wants to cancel uh, the concert. Also, this, this kind of things could happen during the concert in socialism. It was very last 1st May in 1989 in a little town, Chatsa Kisuce. And yes, that uh, a young uh, boy on the bass guitar was me. It was 34 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Well, so um, I uh, also uh, must mention very important activities during this uh, 90s, and it's a uh, uh, sum is that. Uh, 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 sphere. And maybe you know this uh, uh, in original uh, Russian word, Samizdanie. Uh, it was uh, kind of uh, fanzines, uh, different kind of materials, tape records, uh, and etc. And in Trenčín exists another important alternative rock group, uh, Chor Varskih Muzikantov, Chor of musicians from this region, and they produce different kind of funds in different kind of records with the uh, DIY system, do-it-yourself system, made uh, the covers, many, many records, but not only from, from Slovakia, but from Czech, from Polish. It was great effort. They continue to till now, but in the 80s, it was very important uh, to spread this kind of information, to spread this kind of independent alternative uh, approach to the official culture as a something very valuable. 
another uh, uh, alternative and different kind of times. Of course, after 1989, uh, uh, since the Velvet Revolution, everything uh, changed very in a rapid, uh, different way. And uh, there was this uh, open space for a new kind of alternatives. Uh, one of them was postmodern written, let's uh, even quote classical music, around the person uh, Dano Matej, Daniel Matej, composer, organizer. He invented his very in in interesting uh, ensemble of, uh, uh, let's say, classical music, but not classical in the uh, official meaning, but uh, the, uh, the ensemble was called Veni Ensemble, and they played minimal, minimalism, Mauricio Cago, uh, uh, shortly to say everything that was forbidden to play be, uh, in a socialistic time. And another uh, connected uh, alternative was a uh, theater music alternative in the very important independent uh, theater uh, Stoka in Bratislava, around the director Blaho Uhlar. And in the Stoka was the one of the actors, but also composer uh, for this uh, theater to play, Lubomir, Lubomir Burger. Lubomir Burger was uh, the main person of the group Ali Ibn Rashid from Preshow, and he was also part of Rock Alternative. But this is something what uh, I want to mention. Uh, what was... Uh, 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 surprising not only for this kind of scene, but uh, for alternatives that the conditions in 19th was very complicated. There, uh, there was many clubs, but many uh, them begins and ends. There was no support from the state from this kind of culture, and it was really, as, as I used to say, beautiful for, but crazy and mad 19th. Not only because of period of uh, Vladimir Mechiar in politics, but also because very hard conditions from this initiative, and it's a slowly change, especially since the break of 20 and 21st century. Uh, I can say it as a, one of the a uh, person who was involved in this uh, culture, let's say in rock alternative, organizing uh, series, festival, concerts. And sometimes you had to have uh, the, the thousand uh, or the thousand supporters uh, looking for any kind of uh, financial supporters, but it was really, really uh, not uh, easy that period. Since the, the 21st century, a person more professional ensembles and uh, here are the example, uh, cluster, uh, Quasar's Ensemble, which uh, in these days has 15th anniversary of existence, and Cluster's Ensemble. Quasar's Ensemble is focused on the music of 20th century and uh, 21st century. He was even uh, one of the uh, uh, chamber orchestra in Darmstadt courses in 2012, uh, cho chosen. And uh, uh, the quality of this ensemble uh, is really remarkable. Uh, I can play for you one of the latest, uh, latest projects uh, connected with the, uh, the work uh, the work of a great Slovak composer of uh, avant-garde of 60s, Roman Berger. It's dedicated to, to the, uh, the Polish teacher Korczak, who uh, went in the 40s with his Jewish student, students to Auschwitz, to Oswiecim, uh, they, uh, they, he, he went to the Oswiecim despite he was not Jew uh, to die with them. And this is the piece of Roman Berger, Korczak in memoriam, dedicated to the memory of this great hero. For organ, singer and chamber orchestra. I can play it a little bit further.
it's not accidental that I uh, chose uh, this Roman Berger piece. Roman Berger, who died in his 90s a couple of years ago, was always in opposition. During the socialist time, especially in the beginning of 70s, he was uh, uh, refused from the official institution. Uh, he uh, always uh, uh, create uh, and write uh, musical work of arts, which was deeply humanistic, uh, connected not only with, only with this, uh, only with the Holocaust, but uh, theme, but also with the uh, spiritual ones. And even he, he refused one time. I remember uh, in the beginning of 21st century, he refused one official prize from the Ministry of Culture. In a, because uh, he uh, he said that he cannot uh, accept the prize from the state, from the system, where the people are dying on the street, homeless people are dying on the street, especially in the winter. Another example of a very uh, successful initiative on professional way is Crust Cluster Ensemble, which is focused on uh, uh, with, uh, to the music of uh, minimalism of uh, uh, Pars Pro Toto, Steve Reich, one of the most successful projects. Uh, Steve Reich, uh, uh, Music and Changes. Of, uh, and uh, this example of kind of uh, also intermedia interpretation because uh, you, can, uh, you can have experience with this piece uh, just playing with a musician, but also with the video art, but also with the dancers. Here is an example of this. This project of uh, uh, cluster ensemble, there are two leaders, Ivan Schiller and František Kiraj, was so uh, successful that even the Guardian wrote very uh, good uh, review. They play in US. They have uh, personal contact with uh, Philip Glass. Uh, sorry, I, I was uh, mistaken that there was an error. So not uh, Steve Reich, but uh, Phil Glass uh, is the piece uh, I presented by you, Music in Changing Parts. And uh, why I offer this? Uh, th these are uh, these ensembles with the, the leaders, Ivan Buffa. Uh, Ivan Schiller, František uh, Kiraj, uh, they are uh, just keep the line in a very uh, high professional way, but also make a very progressive dramaturgy and present our musical culture uh, comparable uh, in the European highest quality at least. And uh, they present also a Slovak uh, uh, unconventional co composer. For example, Quasar Ensemble played and record in uh, Kairos, uh, for Kairos labor, the works of Viera Janarčeková. Viera Janarčeková, great Slovak composer, woman composer who died a couple of days uh, before in uh, Germany. They, they, uh, they are not focused on, on also on this traditional um, conventional wave, but they are trying to go in more risky, uh, risky uh, roads, uh, to say in a metaphorical way. Here are the, uh, another examples of another alternatives there are, because there are many in Slovak contemporary culture. I call it experimental alternative. Uh, and they are also in plural, uh, plural view. Uh, each of them uh, uh, cons uh, consists of different kind of poetics, different kind of paradigma. And I just make a choice to offer you three persons, David Kolar, Jonas Gruska and Miro Todd. 
David Kolar uh, is the guitar player, very innovative, original, also composer, very successful composer of uh, film uh, music for movies. Uh, Jonas Gruska, sound art artist, focus uh, to the to the field recordings, uh, to the sound installations, and Miro Todd, uh, unconventional kind of controversy, contemporary uh, composer. I ch the, my choice was uh, made uh, uh, also because they have an international uh, response or impact. Uh, for example, David Kolar uh, cooperated with uh, such a great uh, personalities of uh, world scene like uh, Pat Mastello, Otto von King Crimson, Arve Henriksen, uh, Arve Asted, etc. And this is an example of his cooperation with uh, this great uh, trumpet player uh, Henriksen on the festival in 2017. Just to show you how un unconventional uh, and beautiful uh, music uh, on the guitar can be played together with a little trumpet which sounds almost like a human voice. Jonas Gruska is very interesting uh, uh, person for me in the contemporary uh, art of Slovakia. This is the man with the glasses and this amplifier here on the left side. Because uh, not only that he is a great uh, specialist and fan of the mushrooms and this kind of world, because as you know, mushrooms are not plants, mushrooms are not uh, beings um, are not animals, they are some uh, kind of aliens. Thankfully, to have a we can uh, life form in a forest. The, just a few years ago, I recognized that the, the most interesting part of restrooms are under the ground because they uh, create the roots and the, the, the net of roots which uh, connect the roots of. Uh, uh, trees, etc. So uh, maybe we can uh, find some parallels with the postmodern idea of rhizoma of um, uh, Gilles Deleuze, which is a very interesting uh, concept, uh, uh, postmodern concept, uh, how to understand contemporary world and art, rhizoma of Gilles Deleuze. Jonas Gruska uh, used um, uh, very special professional uh, equipments uh, and technology, how to record the sonic environment around us in different uh, special uh, uh, environments and uh, occasion and events, and he involved it and appropriate in a special kind of uh, music. And this is an uh, example of his uh, uh, works uh, called uh, uh, called uh, Spevy Singings with his uh, video art. But what you can uh, hear is the sound from the open face of nature and the uh, meadow with the cows, animals, and it sounds like this.
I'll show you how the divergence, how colorful and uh, in a plural, pluralistic way, uh, various uh, are contemporary alternative uh, experimental scene of Slovakia. Is uh, are the works of Miro Todt, composer uh, who finished his PhD studies in Prague in Academy. Uh, I know it because I was uh, one of the reviewer of her, of her work, but uh, I uh, I consider him as the most interesting uh, uh, composer of today in Slovakia, despite that sometimes his uh, projects are very uh, ideological uh, controversy. He had different uh, uh, different composition dedicated to uh, political issues, some uh, some scandals. Uh, and even uh, uh, here is has a uh, here is the picture of uh, his cooperation with the great world known uh, Kronos Quartet. It was the uh, it was uh, the quartet he wrote in the memory of Jan Kuciak and Martina Kushnirova. Uh, by the way, Martina was our students just in the same building I'm sitting here in Nitra. As you know, they were they both were killed five years ago. Uh, Jan Kuciak also worked on our, on our university in the department of journalistic, and uh, he was uh, uh, one of the best young journalists. And as I mean, maybe you know, it is a very well-known uh, tragedy in Slovakia: this uh, double murder of Kuciak and Kushnirova. And but he has also a different kind of unconventional, uh, very experimental uh, opera pieces and. Uh, I can play example of uh, his approach in this uh, in in this moment. Well, I can play this way, this way, and that way. So even this way, uh, you can compose opera as a video, video opera genre, where the singers are not singer but uh, create this special kind of uh, special kind of uh, sounds, especially when uh, the situation in the opera is quite uh, absurd. So let's say uh, he has very close to the absurd drama in a video opera genre. Another example. Uh, are uh, the songwriters, the uh, songwriters uh, <clears throat> alternative, which has a big tradition in Slovakia since uh, uh, since uh, 80s at least. Uh, there are many uh, very interesting groups, uh, authors, one of them is Jan Boleslav Kladivo uh, with his records Naha, Naked, a duo uh, of uh, Sheena, and Dano Salonta in the group Longital, 
uh, very interesting uh, uh, electro alternative pop group Noisecat, uh, Stomuch, which uh, is uh, developed from the Too Much. The original name of this group was Too Much, but when you rolled it down, Too Much uh, it looks like 100. And much means uh, in Slovakia uh, flies, uh, so the uh, hundred flies is yes, too much. And the uh, bijuterier, by the way, the group from Nitra. Uh, there are uh, so many uh, uh, interesting, uh, very original approaches to how create uh, the songs in different genres, uh, since rock, uh, electro, uh, folk, uh, etc. And uh, I recommend you any of. Uh, uh, these uh, groups or uh, of authors I uh, may I chosen, but now I would like to play one of the uh, one of for me in this genre uh, very or original. Uh, the noise cat. Uh, some members are uh, were connected with the scene in London, and unfortunately, the uh, the singer uh, Katarina Majernikova uh, died uh, more than ten years ago. Uh, by car accidents, but for me it was one of the most interesting singer uh, of this alternative songwrite uh, scene, and he was, by the way, uh, a very interesting uh, uh, author creator of women. How to say the jewelry when you have something nice as a woman on the here or here? It means that he creates postmodern fine art jewelry on uh, for for women and men. And this is an example. By the way, it is a song of Jan Boleslav Kladivo called Mariena in the, as a cover version of the group uh, Noise Cut more than 10 years ago. I uh, uh, consider as a one of the very important uh, aspects of Slovak musical uh, independent culture is a humor. There was a time in 1984 when Frank Zappa, with his band coming on the stage, uh, on the video, on the, uh, have that such big uh, announcement on the video screen that no laser weapons, uh, no special uh, uh, fox. Uh, no special lightings, and there are still some people asking if uh, does music belong in music? Does humor belong in music? And I think it's a very important essence because, uh, uh, as you know, uh, the tell me what kind of uh, humor you prefer, and I can tell you who you are. And uh, that's the something what uh, what was. Uh, would uh, in, in explicit or explicit in implicit or explicit way present in any of this alternative I uh, played for you or I was talking about, uh, and uh, here are the example of this Nitrian uh, 
group bijouterier uh, uh, you can see it here it's very special kind of couple old man woman actor uh, some uh, rock players some uh, new wave players but it's a project of uh, uh, one of the well known group uh, the, the person uh, his name is kuko from horkije slige by the way also nitrian group and uh, when you what you will see is uh, uh, I think uh, the, the the video clip. Uh, I'm still wondering why it's not successful in MTV, in alternative sections. Neprosím ťa nezna boli hlava, neprosím ťa chyta ma unava, nechcem kávu než ja na káva, neprosím ťa o popate stávať, na šestu padám do roboty, a robote sa mi idioty, otoč sa mi láska vodopráva, skús to pochopiť, čo káve zaspáva. A by len čo kurto zaplakal. Etc. Etc. So uh, uh, this is uh, uh, one of uh, let's say uh, to uh, conclude this part of my lecture uh, examples of this very different kind of alternative musical culture. But part of this culture very important are uh, labels, festivals, series, clubs. Uh, even some radio, especially in this time, uh, internet uh, radio, because to be honest, uh, you cannot find this kind of music in official radio station, RTV station, with exception of Radio Jevin, which is artistic radio, and uh, Radio uh, FM. But also, uh, not everything what I played for you. So, a uh, very important part of the Slovak independent culture is this net of uh, festivals, of uh, the labels. What for me was, uh, in my research, uh, what was, uh, I think, uh, very uh, interesting uh, uh, discover, discovering uh, was the fact that many of the members of the groups and uh, these authors I present you before. I mentioned Mich Michal Kaščák, uh, Branio Jobus from Karpatske Hrbaty, including me, from Teoria Otrazu, we, we started to create festivals. We started to create some nets and some of the person also uh, some, uh, some labels. These are examples of, the, of uh, uh, festivals in Slovakia. The very first uh, open air festival in the middle of 80s was Slovenske Alternatívne Leto, Slovak Alternative Summer. In 1995, I was part of them with my group Otras on the Castle Bzovik. Two years later, there was the beginning of the well-known, the greatest festival in Slovakia, Pohoda in Trenčín. And there are another example, uh, festival next in Bratislava, uh, uh, festival uh, Hevhetia, uh, well, Hevhetfest in Košice, festival Postmutard or Hermers is in Nitra. And also... Uh, different uh, labels. The very first was Zoon Records in 90s in Bratislava. Uh, the, each of them, like Hevetia, Dead Red Records, Real Music House and Slunko Records are focused on the, a little bit different uh, sphere of our, of our um, uh, styles and uh, genres. Uh, in my opinion, uh, all of them are valuable, but uh, Slunko Records, Zoon Records, Hevetia and others create the wonderful platforms for publishing many, many projects which uh, without uh, could not uh, have any chance to be heard. 
So, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Samuel, if I have, let's say, 10 minutes for, for, for the finishing my lecture or not. Yes, I think so. It's not a problem. We'll have a still uh, 25 minutes, so with uh, also the bat, that's okay. I Because I remember that we have started uh, 15. Yes, a little bit later, yes. Uh, so now we are approaching uh, to one hour. So yes. in the very uh, end of uh, this lecture, I can present some of my project because I am part of this uh, culture, not only as an organizer, not only as a theoretician, aesthetician, semiotician, but also as a musician. And as uh, Edgar Vares, American composer, said even in 30s, of 20th century, he said, the contemporary composer refused to die. It means that uh, we have to survive in some way. It doesn't mean that the, 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 the reason I'm, I'm uh, lecturing in the faculty is the, is the way of survive as a contemporary composer. Uh, but uh, it's a special, uh, special fact that uh, I don't know any Slovak composer today who would uh, survive just uh, with writing his works. Even the most famous composer like Vladimir Godar, Martin Burlas, and others, most of them uh, works on the institution like uh, Hudovne Centrum, Musical Center, or uh, high schools lecturing uh, 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 similar as me. So it's not accidental that, uh, especially in the period of transmutate uh, post-capitalic world, the contemporary composer also refused to die. So this is an example uh, how, uh, how I live as a musician. Uh, last year, I published the project called Transvexitions. Uh, I involved their uh, musician from the project I present you before, Jan Boleslav Kladiva, Branislav Jobus, uh, Nikolai Nikitin, uh, Miko, Milo Železniak, and actor Ivan Gondko. Uh, as you can see on the cover, is uh, it looks like uh, coronavirus, but it's uh, just a computer, the virtualization of the virus. But as you can see, he, he slowly changes to the musical instruments. Here are trumpets, saxophones, tube, CD, because and vax uh, the, the, does not connotate only vaccination. Vax is one of the very first personal uh, computers in the late uh, 70s or 20th century. And the name of the computer was Vax. So uh, this project uh, deals with the complete, uh, 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 extremely digitalization of our world. So this uh, word trans vaccinations means that uh, Uh, there's no uh, border between online and offline in our world. We can uh, feel very, very uh, hardly in uh, in Corona crisis period when everything was uh, uh, able mostly due to communication through the digital devices. By, as, as by now, unfortunately, but uh, you know that uh, this, I can go back to the very beginning of my lecture, that discourses uh, practices. I can go there uh, immediately. I mentioned uh, uh, in with the, uh, Michel Foucault, uh, these practices of division exclusion, the scientific classification, permanent control, et cetera, et cetera, psychoanalysis, sexual therapy, therapy, mostly in this time are digitalized. We live in, uh, somebody as Yaris uh, Varoufaki said, we are not living in capitalism anymore, but in techno, digital feudalism. And uh, I think uh, these practices uh, uh, appears uh, in uh, in our time is many many levels in uh, external or in the internal social life, and uh, it's not accidental that, that I use also the metaphor of a Joseph Heller novel. I know I, I hope you know this novel. It's called uh, Big Catch 22 in Slovak language. Velka hlava 22 of Josef Heller, and this song is called uh, Big Catches, plural, Big Catches 22, and uh, this graphics uh, belongs to Simona Vravnikova, who prepared also uh, this uh, uh, PR material for my lecture uh, today. I th I'm very thankful to her. And uh, the song you can play, you can hear is uh, really, uh, the title is Velké hlavy 22, big catches 22, 22 with uh, the lyrics of Jan Boleslav Kladivo, uh, my music and uh, the group Kaleidosonic Cope.
Well, so, uh, uh, the very uh, last uh, issue I would like to talk is a kind of invitation also for the, uh, for the uh, evening concert of acousmatic music. Uh, it's called Transparent Sculptures because it's a name of my very last, uh, very last, not lost, not lost already, but the very last uh, album, uh, Transparent Sculptures, which has so much to do with the space of uh, uh, sonic environment, how to make a symbiosis of uh, sounds uh, during the special events. It has also something to do with Jonas Gruska field recordings art. Audial acoustic arts, as they say, even uh, today, because it's a new paradigm of uh, kind of musical ap uh, approach uh, to the space we live in. I am also a member of certain, certain uh, uh, excuse me, of the society Central European Network of Sonic Ecologies. And uh, no wonder that I dedicated the, the whole album to, uh, to the sim symbiosis of uh, compor composed, compromised, improvised music and the sounds which uh, surround us. And uh, in the very last uh, end of this lecture, I would like to play the composition which is dedicated to my friend and the friend of Samuel Koroniak as well, uh, Michal Reiser, my PhD student who died last year on the council, just in his age 33. The piece is called uh, Water for Purgatory. You can see here the personal, and I can play uh, the this sonic invitation for you by now. Thank you. 
So thank you very much for your attention. Bye now. Thank you very much, Professor. So thank you. If there's any comments, questions, commentary, or your uh, really independent alternative way of questioning uh, me or the problems, if I will know how to answer, I will. I just want to say uh, two sentences. Thank you very much for this introduction of the alternative scene in Slovakia yeah. and briefly go through, in, through uh, from uh, beginning till nowadays. And I'm glad that we also heard a couple of your uh, pieces, which will be also introducing uh, today uh, evening. So if there is some questions, also from the people online and guests online but also here i will be glad uh, to if there will be i'm open in discussion and also i will just turn the light on and uh, if there is some of the couple of questions i think that we have also a question in a chat okay. from uh, ennis uh, who is direct also here but uh, I didn't want to interrupt uh, the lecture, but there was a couple of questions uh, di uh, divided from uh, Envy, so... Yes, my first question was... Uh, Can you come just a little bit closer? Because uh, I will try to make a microphone and you can ask the question, it's not a problem. You can come here closer. So sorry that I didn't, okay. technically Thank didn't, you. yes. Uh, so it, my first question it was um, about um, we saw um, the kids who were singing in the, in the class and um, I would like to know it was this music uh, from the influence against the um, communism or it was an influence for example because for me it was almost the same like the music from Pink Floyd. Uh, in that time, hey, teach your liver kids alone. So it, uh, I would like to know how much um, it was the influence against the communism and how much it was the uh, influence from from Europe, from free worlds, if, if you can say like that. Yes, I, I can mention your uh, question here in commentary, on comments, in chat. I, yes. I read it already. Uh, well, uh, the Pink Floyd project, The Wall, uh, appears in 1979. And I think it's uh, over time uh, still actual because uh, especially in Slovak language when you say that we don't need no education, if you uh, uh, translate literary, it means that we doesn't want to be educated. But I think there's, there's a different meaning. It means that we don't know, we doesn't want to be controlled in the way you control us. We doesn't uh, want to be your slaves, let's say, or, or to be in a, this very uncomfortable situation, we are not partner of you. I, I can mention, I can say that me as a teacher, uh, I, I consider the students as a partner, and sometimes that's uh, that's something what many teachers can uh, success with me uh, agree with me that sometimes I I learned much more from the students uh, and they are not aware of it is in the situation and i think uh, uh, these uh, songs of the whistleblower udavac it's also actual in many ways because uh, it uh, it was not only against the secret policy that time for sure everybody understood that that uh, that time uh, the, when somebody said i want i want to be a uh, whistleblower since my childhood and i will be doesn't matter what you want uh, to, to say, uh, has uh, in the different meanings in the time of uh, secret policy. And now it's, uh, again, very actual in the time of cancel culture. And in the Facebook uh, uh, beholder, uh, beholders and Czech uh, beholder. So it means that uh, this uh, idea uh, is actual in different way of the, in different uh, context of times. So I think it has enough to, nothing to do with Pink Floyd, as I know that person in the, the group, in a person, some of the guys are my friends. They did not listen Pink Floyd at that time so, so much. Uh, but uh, 
I think uh, the most important in the art uh, is that uh, are not connected only with the concrete, uh, uh, concrete uh, discursive practice of that time, but it began uh, actual in different uh, Shakespeare, yes, Diderot. We can talk about uh, many uh, artists, why they are still actual. Because in some ways, uh, our society are not changing in a deeper uh, level, just uh, costumes are changing. Yeah? And, uh, and uh, so, for example, for me, the songs uh, Udavac, Udavac uh, is uh, actual even in this time. By the way, do you know that uh, uh, even our messengers, mess messenger in Facebook, are still checking by this check? Like this. They are still beholding. And uh, you even uh, be cancelled uh, if, if, if you are not agree with the uh, some, let's say, a conductual official way of uh, to be progressive. Yeah? Okay. I can, I can answer to, if you're satisfied with my answer, but this is the way I see it. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank Thank you. Polish. I understand you could speak uh, Polish as well. So, so oh, no, I, don't, I just uh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fala lepo, mogu, mogu da kažem, ja razumijem srpsko hrvatski, ali ni, ne, po, polski ne razumijem. Mi se to bardzo podoba. Polish language, to se mi bardzo podoba. <laughs> Super. Uh, is there any more questions or comments or maybe someone from the online world uh, also who is here from the students uh, can also, and colleague can ask or maybe compare to the another, another for example, uh, pieces from the, for example, Slovenia or Poland or another another countries uh, who were also under another system in before the 90s or before the 1989. Uh, if if not, I will just or Jana, I, I just want to say thank you for this presentation and um, I see some similar styles in Yugoslavian um, music, um, but I must say that I didn't know so well um, Slovakish music or so. Um, I think it's similar um, with us that it's not so internationally known, but um, of course um, we have, or, or um, a person can find very good pieces in all these smaller um, languages or cultures. Yeah. Um, and I find it um, um, also very interesting this um, that man cannot live just with music in our smaller countries um, so that the people who um, do music must must all, uh, always or uh, work also other jobs <laughs> yeah yeah that's the destiny of uh, this kind of uh, contemporary artist so thank for this comment uh, uh, we are uh, deeply connected with czech uh, cultural context no wonder because we lived in i was born in czechoslovakia I live uh, some. I know some context from from Poland, from Hungary. I cooperate with, but from former Yugoslavia, uh, we talk about this uh, just two days uh, before with uh, Samuel Koruniak. That I know some sound art scene, thankfully to Manja Ristic, which is from uh, Serbia, but uh, he lives in a Croatian island, Korčula. I have some contact with uh, Stevan uh, Lenhardt in uh, Serbia, and there are very similar. Uh, very similar uh, processes and cultural uh, context, uh, including the hard difficulties, especially in the, in this time of uh, internet and the digitalization. So, no wonder, and no wonder that we cannot spread it uh, due to our languages when we, when we are singing in Serbian, in the uh, Croatian, uh, Slovakian language. So we cannot be. Uh, accepted for them, but there are some ex uh, exceptions. For example, the duo Longital I present to you, they have very successful uh, in uh, France, in the US, uh, despite that they, they were singing in Slovakia, but uh, thankfully to the uh, to the uh, citizens who are living, let's say, 
Slovak, Slovaks in America, Slovaks in in French, and uh, it's uh, it's the usual, let's say, in folklore, uh, the sphere as well. Maybe I just need to add some kind of like comment because uh, also Jana and we are coming directly not from the Yugoslavia because uh, in this time everybody uh, everything was going separate. But for example, in uh, Yugoslavia, this alternative scene was much more let's say open because uh, this system, political system, allowed this to be represented. Also, for mm -hmm. example, yesterday I saw on Facebook this kind of situation that, for example. Uh, are we believing that in the 80s, for example, on the national television, we have only two, three programs. Also, it was like uh, some kind of like a communism, uh, socialism system, but allows to present this kind of artist also in a broadcast television in Yugoslavia. So this was a much more presentation, much more free than it was like, for example, as you... Uh, yeah tell us or told us this kind of situation that, for example, this concert was uh, interrupted by the someone who is controlling this. Of course, maybe that was, yes, that was maybe just the annotation of it. Okay. But uh, this, this, uh, this is uh, just a kind of situation. And uh, what, uh, maybe I can just uh, ask, what was the, or what is now a situation with uh, when we are celebrating this divide in Czechoslovakia, what is now situation in the, or was, uh, in an alternative sense between the Czech and Slovakia, or uh, this cooperation, maybe just of briefly to say. Mm -hmm. So uh, the relations are still very vivid. It's very uh, friendly. Uh, I must say that the the let's say responses and uh, offers to cooperate, even in my case, are. Uh, even let's say if if I had a if I had a balance, so maybe from Czech countries I am more accepted than uh, here. Uh, you are not profit in your home, as you know. You cannot be profit in your home. Uh, so mm, uh, it's very good this connection, and there are uh, invitations from both sides. But uh, now, especially after Corona crisis, situation is very hard. If you are not uh, the name from, let's say, uh, very popular uh, uh, level, so the young uh, the groups uh, or very un unconventional experimental uh, initiative have very big problems to organize concert because uh, the situation is very, very hard for organizers. Uh, if you have no uh, financial support, you almost cannot do uh, nothing because people are not coming to the concert because everybody is, uh, is uh, connected with as a zombie culture. Chris Cutler, uh, English well-known uh, person from uh, the movement Rock in Oppositions, I don't know if you know it, uh, Chris Cutler, uh, 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 the drummer, percussion player, well no figure from uh, English from the, from the break of 70s and the 80s, uh, he would develop this uh, movement, rock in opposition. He said that this is the zombie culture, that we are uh, uh, just leaving front of computer, uh, having these uh, machines uh, still connected with them, and uh, we... Uh, we are more living in this digital world and as a, in a real world. It means if uh, in the 80s, 90s was some interesting concert, we could travel 100 and 100 kilometers to see, let's say, Frank Zappa, Deep Purple, etc. And now the people say, ah, okay, if if I will not go there, I can see it lately in uh, YouTube. I can see uh, some. Uh, I can uh, listen some records. And the Corona crisis was uh, the period when everything w w uh, was there, and uh, so situation is much more complicated. But the relationship are still very sincere and good, especially as I can compare. Uh, it's the, this division, this divorce. 30 years ago, was fortunately peaceful. And uh, it means that the connection between our nations are, are still... Uh, it, it, it happens sometimes that they divorce even between partners are peaceful, but not so often, unfortunately. And the people could even uh, educate their kids in a peaceful way. Uh, congratulations to everybody who has these peaceful divorces. And uh, so it, it's my answer why we have uh, 
we have a uh, good relationship with Czech uh, alternative independent scene. Can I just really uh, last question from my side? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe for discussion, uh, uh, maybe I'm uh, going into the scene of commercial music a little bit uh, because alternative music for me is something which is alternative uh, in this point of view that it's not well known. Uh, this is like a first sign as a. Yeah someone who is not oriented in this uh, problematic and of course it's not achieved to be pop as a as a commercial music mm -hmm. but uh, we have a lot of alternative let's say groups who achieve or get to this point of the commercial world let's say that uh, my question is if someone gets to this position that it's like commercial music or well known uh, losing this point of the alternative music or that is alternative uh, music, that is belonging to the alternative music scene? Thank you for this uh, question, because it's a very important problematic and issue. I haven't enough time to, uh, to go deeply in this uh, problem, because uh, especially since the, let's say, uh, break of 20th, 21st century, uh, uh, there's a process of uh, fusion of non-official and official culture. I mean, some of these alternative initiatives, not only in the music, but also in a different kind of arts, uh, goes to the official uh, public scene and they were accepted. Yes, it's a, it's a story of many, many uh, other uh, processes in the history. I can mention, uh, can you imagine, uh, in the late of 19th century, the impressionist uh, fine artist, Cezanne, Renoir, Monet, etc. There was refused. There was there was uh, on the there was as outsiders uh, as a mo modernist uh, revolutionary uh, painters. F 50, 60 years, the avant-garde painters like uh, Jackson Pollock was not only accepted, but he was on the big exhibition. His work when John Fitzgerald Kennedy opened the big. Uh, big exhibition of modern avant-garde art to show that the USA is a country which offers the free uh, free space for presentation, even for this experimental avant-garde uh, ex expression of abstraction art compared to the socialistic realism, yes? So for, uh, you, we can mention the story of the punk. Uh, we can mention the story of the grunge. You can mention the story of the uh, hip hop when it begins as an alternative and it begins just the fashion and and uh, everything knows all around the world. I think one of the reasons uh, why Kurt Cobain could not stand and he uh, uh, committed suicide was not only his personal psychological problems, but he cannot stand that his group Nirvana become one of the most popular uh, group uh, in the MTV uh, charts, yeah, and uh, he can do anything but the merchandising business uh, advertising uh, goes around this problem that the system is able to change to transform anything uh, on the market as a very good uh, product. Yes, the problem is uh, another one that. Uh, when these alternative uh, musicians, uh, alternative singers, alternative personalities, uh, call, uh, call, uh, how to say, uh, not only cooperate, but collaborate with uh, official ideology. That's the, uh, the, that's the uh, even worse problem. It means that even now we have uh, certain discursive practices as Michel Foucault permanent control, uh, scientific authority, uh, let's say, uh, what, we, what we can and what we cannot do during the pandemic period. I don't know if you know this uh, book uh, of uh, uh, Michel Foucault, uh, I, I mentioned, uh, he uh, described how, how the, the prison and how the policy was invented during the medieval ages, uh, uh, during the pandemic, yes. Uh, uh, and it has so much to do that uh, if uh, appears uh, something like this, and it appeared just a few years ago, I mean, corona uh, crisis or corona matrix, as you can say, and 
official ideology was uh, that we have to behave this way, that way, don't discuss. And everybody who has different opinion was dangerous, was excluded, was was even uh, pointed out as uh, somebody who must be uh, almost uh, erased. It was just part pro toto. Now we have different issues of contemporary world. And uh, what was very strange for me that many, uh, or no many, some of the representative of this alternative independent culture are no more independent, are no more alternative in the relation with the relation with the official uh, official ideology, and that's uh, that's the real problem. So for me, it's not problem if somebody from alternative world became popular. It's very good on the one side because it sometimes happened when I played you for you this song Mariana of Jan Boleslav Kladivo. Noiskad was quite a well-known group quite popular electro pop in Slovakia, Noiskat. And when they uh, took the song of Jan Boleslav Kladivo, who was almost unknown, this uh, Mariana, it was really in charge uh, as, a, as a good uh, hit. But for me, it's problem if uh, if uh, they uh, go to the other, other space of the river and they are succeed in, in official ideology, which cannot be always right and sometimes it's uh, dangerous thank you very much thank you very much for your answer <clears throat> uh the, i think that maybe uh, yeah. we should also maybe mm -hmm. uh finish uh because we are skipping maybe like a 10 minutes but uh if someone uh, wants to have a just really brief comment uh, can have a word so it's not a problem. If not, I want to thank you, Professor Fujak, for this wonderful presentation of the independent music scene, not only in the Slovakia, but also in the Czechoslovakia, but in the Slovakia part of the Czechoslovakia. And also that he was also infiltrated in this scene and he's still a member of this alternative scene and he's uh, organizing a lot of event. And uh, thank you that we listen at the end of these pieces, which will be more played of the this concert of the acousmatic music which will start at the seven o'clock so everybody is welcome and he we will also meet here in the catalog realm but also uh, who is not able to come here uh, can listen to this uh, concert also online through the same okay, link 7 p.m just uh, yeah. just a short note the concert acousmatic music means acousmatic music is a music which is created uh, to be performed with the presentation of interprets it uh, has so much to do with the tradition of music concret of electroacoustic music played uh, through the multi channel uh, pro projection sound projection uh, and uh, the reason that I cannot be with you was uh, that uh, together with Samuel we uh, we decided to make this this kind of uh, listening to acousmatic music with my uh, comments as an author. So you are invited. Uh, yes, really welcome and herzlich uh, willkommen alle. So uh, thank you very much once again, Professor. This was really wonderful presentation. Uh, if there will uh, be like a screen uh, or uh, made a video, we will be glad to share it with another uh, colleagues and students who cannot be able to come. And uh, we are happy that we manage it online. So we are thanks to this uh, digital world. And uh, we are <coughs> sending uh, thanks uh, words uh, from Cologne or uh, aus Köln. So thank you very much, and we will see each uh, everybody maybe uh, at the seven o'clock. <laughs>